Welcome to another episode of the 5-Minute Money Manager. When I taught family finance, I would ask my students, usually on the first or second day of class, to name someone they considered a success. Now, I didn't specifically say a financial success, only a success. However, the vast majority of the people my students named were very wealthy business people or sports and movie stars. I would use a follow-up question. Why are these people successful? A few would say that they were the best athlete in their sport, but most responses were that they had made lots of money. My students had decided that financial wealth equaled life success. Now perhaps I would have received different types of responses if it had been a weight training course instead of a personal finance course. I don't know. Anyway, it would be about this time in the conversation that I would make an uncomfortably long pause and declare as seriously as I could, well, most if not all of you will become failures. Now, no one wants to hear that, but based on their responses, that was the truth. Occasionally, I would have a student who would name someone they considered a success, which was totally unknown to everyone else in the class, their mother or father or uncle or a family friend. Even though these people had not achieved fame or fortune, they were successful based on the descriptions the students gave. It would be at this time that I would suggest that one of the famous and wealthy people that my students had mentioned, Bill Gates, for example, may not be successful. Although usually not audibly expressed, my students were saying, how could you say something like that? I would then explain that without knowing what his objectives and goals were, We have no criteria to judge success. Perhaps Bill Gates wanted to be ruler of the world. In that case, he was not successful. He did make lots of money. So in that respect, I guess he could be termed a success. However, success is simply the accomplishment of goals. And because we have many facets to our lives, we can be successful in some aspects of life but not in others. The key to determining success lies in the details of a person's goals. If they have no goals, or the goals are not well-defined, then there is no way of determining success. For example, if one of your goals is to make lots of money, it is not well-defined. That is, what is a lot of money? How will you know when you've made enough? At what point will you be able to say, I've accomplished that goal. I'm a success in this part of my life. Because these types of goals are vague, they are not useful in designing strategies to obtain them. Well-written goals are one of the most important life planning tools that we have. They serve as the blueprints to success and the maps that will help us navigate through this journey we call life. I will talk more of goals in a few future episode. In the meantime, take a look at your top five items on your fabulous 50 list and consider these questions. Can I be more specific on what I want to do? When do I want to accomplish these? What is preventing me from doing them now? Thanks for listening and have a great day.